Hi, you guys. Today we are going to be talking nails. Um, I am not a nail tech, never done nails, but I have taken nail classes. And I do the OPI gel polish. I love it because it just stays like crazy and it stays really shiny. But a lot of people don't have the capability to do the whole system like I do with UV light and everything. Um, but I'm going to talk you through what I do to prep my nails that I have found helps the gel stay a lot better because before I did this, I couldn't get the gel to stay. So this may help your regular polish stay also if you're going to do that. So first, you want to remove all your old nail polish. And even if you have none on, go ahead and put a little nail polish remover on your fingernails to clean them off. Then you want to rinse that off. And I use soap too, soap and water, and wash my hands. Then dry your hands with a paper towel, not with a cloth, whatever this is made of, towel, because this has stuff from your laundry, fabric softener, whatever, and these tend to be a little purer um, and less linty. So I'll dry my nails really dry. Then NAS 99, it's an OPI product. It's basically alcohol that will clean everything off your nails again, right? After that, I've sprayed with that, rinse again. You don't need to soap again, but rinse your hands underwater again. I keep this all by the sink, makes it easier. Then again, paper towel, dry every nail really dry. Then one final product, Bond-Aid by OPI. It's, um, you brush it on, just a couple little strokes each nail and let that dry really well before you start with your manicure, with your base coat. Then just thin layers of your regular enamel and a top coat. I don't like to do too many layers of anything because it gets thick and tends to peel off more that way. But I'm also gonna show you a way to clean off your lacquer brush and paint with your nail polish that I learned in a class that was really useful to me. First though, you wanna shake really, really well. So you got your polish all shaken. Then you want to clean off your brush. The OPI brushes are flat. So wiping the flat sides really well back and forth on the neck of the bottle. So that's got that stem clean pretty much. Then you go in and wipe the brush off. Get that pretty clean. Then you just with the tip pick up a little bead. That's all you do. So that's a way that kind of stirs it and gets everything clean so you don't have a big glob plop down onto your finger. Then you want to take that little bead and start, I'm not painting this, but I'm just going to describe it. Just start close to the cuticle and push the polish down to the cuticle, then swipe to the tip. And you do that, oops, three swipes is usually good. Let that dry completely, or if you're doing the UV like I do, you UV it. Do, 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 do. Um, and what else did I want to say? I'll remember later because I always forget what I was going to say. But those are, those are just little steps, the drying thoroughly with the paper towel and the cleaning and the Bond-Aid and the NAS. You just make sure you rinse after this one because I've tried it the way OPI teaches um, where you don't rinse it and the it didn't stay. I was not happy. So um, I think that's all. And it's Sunday, so you get me with no makeup. And I hear a doggy. Oh, who is it? Oh, it's Jean Claude. Let's get him. Hold on. Come here, buddy. You want to get on the film? Come on, buddy. Oh, he's so happy. Oh, he's so happy. Look at that guy. So anyway, I'm on a mission to wear a Grateful Dead shirt a day until I run out. So this is day one. Jean-Claude is really happy about that. But I hope you guys have a really good day. Bye.